All right, you're sitting behind me. Maybe able to get a shot here. So let's just see what happens. Oh, it was really cool. I had a fox. He came right down through here, and I was standing right. I was standing right over there, and I had a fox who came right down this tree line right where I'm sitting, and uh, he just kind of trotted on by. Nice little fox. Here the cows bellering, wanting some new grass. They're gonna get new grass here after a bit. Oh, I guess I should show you my Pew Pew, which is a side-by-side. -side. It is a, what they call a CZ Bob White. So it's a fairly new gun, straight stock. And it's a, in the past, it has been a, a dove getter. Last year, I don't know how many doubles I had on dove with this. It was a lot sitting in the same spots. All right, folks, doves are starting to fly. I actually just had a brace of them come across here, which I was absolutely not prepared for. And one made a maneuver and surf and kind of come back through here. <laughs> I busted feathers off of him. And he went and just kept flying plumb off the property. But whenever I shot, there were about <laughs> a lot more dove than I thought got up off that field right there. I really wish I had a spot right over there under those pines. I think I'm gonna move. I think I'm gonna move because everything ends up over there anyway, no matter what. Everything just ends up over there. So let's move. I doubt if I'll get a shot carrying a stool and everything else, but I'll try. If I can get right there, right against those little trees right over there. I don't want to look into the sun. Oh, lots of dust. Dub flying right across there. As pretty as you please. And up underneath these trees is the sun and my dove right there flying. All right, here I am. It's gonna be it. It's a spot. See what happens. I like this spot though. Sun's not my eyes. Probably seen 70 or 80 doves this morning. Oh, there they go. Oh, way over there. <clears throat> There's two misses. Okay. Oh, got one. There's one. Oh, got one. There's one. That's why I like them. I like them over there. Oh, get a, get, a, get a bullet in here. 
Okay, I got one down over there. Let's see if I can find that dove. I didn't actually see it hit the ground, so. Just going off where I think it hit the ground. I think it hit the ground. Oh, I see it. For sure, I see it. Yep. All right. Here's the dove. Pretty far shot. Bam! <laughs> and that's the way you do it, folks, right there. I'm gonna turn the camera off and I and I got another duh. <laughs> He's right over there. Alright, so that's three. Okay. So I've got this dove laying here next to me. I've got a dove right there. I've got a dove right there, so I hope this camera is getting all of this stuff. I mean, it was almost immediately after I turned the camera off, two of them come across right here, and I got it right there. Oh. So that be three. Three dove breasts for Mrs. Gillum Farms to cook us something up with. So far, hopefully I'll get some more. I may be here long enough today to get some this evening too because I've got a lot of work to do out here today. Oh, dove. Right here. Bam. <laughs> right there. So, that's the way you want to do it. Okay. That's four. All right. So, you see, I can hit a dove every once in a while. Now, I don't know about you guys, but some of the best meat you can get off your homestead is dove and um, they are excellent meat and as you can tell there are a lot of them here we go oh, oh feather come off of him all right folks I have changed into my working attire I've got my I don't know if you can see that but I've got my jeans and all that stuff on now and uh, I've got to go over here and get my camera but I still have my shotgun in my hand just in case a dove flies over um, because I really need to get at least one more today those doves have been hanging out in this stuff right here there's little like I said, there's... Oh, there, there they go. They went, there they went. There. Okay, there in those... Wow! <laughs> Might as well sit down. <laughs> Think a wheel. Oh, there's a squirrel right there. A squirrel in that tree right there. And it is squirrel season too, so I could actually increase the bounty right there. 
but I've got my heart set on dead and there's no sense in killing something that I'm not gonna worry about right now. Make a little sit down here a minute. Because they might come back. Okay, there's number four. <laughs> Golly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, I missed that one. They're still flying. <laughs> Fell out of the chair, folks. <laughs> Spinning on that bird. Anyway, this is my plan. This is our uh, corral part of our corral and that's our head gate over there and what I do is I've got another panels I've got four more panels right over there so let me get the tractor and start moving some of these panels middle of the day I decided I was over there working on that corral and I decided well it's time to go eat and of course I went to Jose's and then I decided well since I'm going to Jose's I might as well go out here and get another load of hay I want to show you 10 bales 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 they're doubled on the bottom side by side so we figured out how to get 10 bale on the dozer trailer. That'll make it go a lot faster. Anyway, let's head back to the farm. All right, and this is the reason right here why I went ahead and went and hauled hay and did all, look at the doves just flying in here. I mean, there's, there's like three that just flew into this, there they go, just flew into this tree, so, yeah, right here. I mean, look at that. What kind of shot would that have been? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, I went to eat. Here goes another one. Easy shot. Uh, so anyway, I uh, went and got something to eat. I loaded the uh, hay trailer completely down with hay. I went and got uh, 10 bales on it this time. So it's got hauled 10 at one time. And right now, this, uh, I'm gonna build this, put this little corral together. Now this corral, you know, when I left, this was all in the sun. And uh, I said, well, I'll go eat and uh, it'll be better whenever I get back, and it is. And this is the reason why the corral goes right here. Because in the afternoon, if you've got animals in it, you don't want them sitting out there in that sun. You know, if I built the corral up there where the uh, panels were, which is over there, they would they would just be out there sitting in the sun. Right here, they can lay in the shade of this huge sycamore tree that we have right here.
Okay, the little corral is built. It's got a gate right here. It's got a head gate over there. Um, what I'll do is I'll be I'll put that feeder over there in here. Um, and you just, of course, it's got a chain gate. Everything chains together on it. You open that little gate up. Bring the animals in here. Uh, open that gate over there. And run them through there. You run the cattle you don't want out the gate on the other side. And then there's another gate on this side. Just like the one I showed you earlier on the other side. We'll open that one and we'll back a trailer in right there between here and that pile right there. Back a trailer up there and that'll be, we'll run them down that chute and load them right into the trailer. So that is the plan. So anyway, let's uh, let's go unload this bunch of hay that I've got right here. show you the newest little snafu so right here in this cylinder it is leaking right out of the cylinder right there it's not leaking out of a hose or anything it's it's blowing right out of the cylinder whenever I have a bale of hay on it it actually um, just sprays like a pencil lead stream straight out of the bottom of that so it has blowed the seal in that cylinder right there and it's leaking all down off everything and uh yeah it's just a mess
at this point I have been out here all day uh, besides whenever I went to get lunch and haul hay get the hay over here so I have moved the cattle into this paddock um, I'm sitting here again with my shotgun I have four doves already so let's see if I can do anything this evening it is 91 or 92 degrees right now. Hot, folks. And I ran out of something to drink a long time ago. So, anyway, I'm going to put on this other camera and see if we can shoot some doves. This is the way it works right here, folks. If you uh, go hunting with cattle, Expect to be hunting with cattle. <laughs> Here comes one. Here comes two. Got that one. A little bit. He ain't doing very good. Yeah, he's... Here he comes. Down, 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 down. He's on the ground. Okay. Alright, I need to go get that one. What are you doing? Alright. Job. That's five. I'm sitting right there. Alright. There's another one. Six. Got him. Bam. <laughs> I went another one. That's seven. Oh, there goes one flying. Those are flying. Comes one. down. There he is right there. Okay, dope. There's one. Damn. Alright, there he is. Alright. I am getting ready to head to the house. I got a few dove today. My old trusty side-by-side -side 12 gauge. And uh, so we will, me and Mrs. Gillum will have a fine meal with that. And uh, but anyway, yep, got all, well, look at that dove right there. <laughs> so anyway, I got the cattle moved. I'm pretty sad about my little tree right here. I think it's dying. Uh, that's a sawtooth oak and I think it's done. And I hate that because I planted all of them. So, anyway, uh, so yep, yeah, I think we're done, and uh, I'm going to get out of here and get home and get some supper, give me something to drink. So, if you like this type of video, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, continue to bring more content in the future. And as always, everybody, God bless.